Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how we can update the application manually. So we are in on our dashboard, and here you can see new update is there. So we'll go to update now, and we can see the summary of new updates. So here, if you are not getting update now button or anything, you can, you need to simply go to manual update and read every single line and follow the instruction. So it says download the application then unzip it and but before doing this this is the important point take backup of your files and database before updating the application so the next step will be replace all files except dot env public user uploads if there is user uploads and if there is public uploads then uploads folder and then is fab icon next is storage module json if there is next is modules and so let's see how it's done so we'll open the downloads folder here we can see that the application worksuit is already downloaded by me so the next step was to unzip it let me unzip it please wait So the files are unzipped and in the files go to script folder and here we'll have to replace all file except env so let's if you are not seeing any dot uh, env file then you need to enable dot files on your mac it's simply shift command dot in case of mac and by default on windows it's visible and same similarly if you are on directly opening on uh, cpan or plesk it will be visible so here it is dot env file we do not have to replace this file so we will simply remove this file env file is removed second is public uploads or user uploads let's go to public folder is there any user uploads folder yeah there is we'll delete this folder and the next step is public fab icon yeah there is fab icon we'll remove this also storage app modules json storage app modules json no file is there and next is modules if you have any module installed so in the modules folder we cannot see anything so it seems all are now good to go so we'll select all right click it and compress it compress after compressing upload this to your server since i am using our local host so i will be compressing and then unzipping by going to that specific folder so it's compressed let's copy it and go to our worksuit folder so this is our worksuit folder let's paste it and unzip it wait for few minutes or few seconds so it's extracted but the files are not move, uh, replaced it's moved to archive folder so what we'll do we'll simply go to archive folder select all copy this and paste to root where the files are located so it will ask for replace and we will simply replace every file
so you can see it's asking to replace the file we will simply apply to all and say replace so all the files are replaced the next step was visit clear cache in your browser and you are good to go let's first reload this page and see if we are getting any error so we are not getting any error any error let's say clear cache so cache is cleared let's log in and see if the application is updated to latest version or not we'll go to settings update app and here you can see the update message has gone and the latest version is now 5.4.9 so the application is updated if you still have any queries comment down to our video and our team will respond to that thank you